Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are solving a pretty interesting problem. So this is the third problem of weekly contest 434. So you can go through this problem statement. What it basically says is we are given an array of integers and a value k which is an integer. We can apply a kind of operation on this array. So we can select any of the sub array from this array and we can add a value x which is an integer value to all the elements in the selected sub array and what we are trying to do is we are asked to find what is the maximum frequency of k which we can obtain after applying this operation we can apply uh, we cannot apply any operation as well like we will perform zero operations so zero or one operation is allowed so let's see the test cases so in the first example the value of k is given as 1 so here we have a 1 and we can select any of the sub arrays we can select this sub array this sub array any of the sub arrays and let's see what is the operation that we can do so okay so here what I can see is in all the elements the frequency is uh, 1 for all these elements so we can select any of this array uh, basically sub array and let's say we select 2 3 or maybe 2 then we can add a minus 1 here so which will make this 2 as 1 so the maximum frequency of k would be 2 here this one and this 2 will convert this 2 will be converted to 1 after applying the operation so the ma maximum frequency is 2 okay so in the second test case the value of k is 1 okay so we can see that we already have a 10 here great so let's select some sub array so that after applying the operation we will get maximum value of k so in this sub array i could see that we have three twos here okay so if i select this complete sub array and add plus 8 to all this all these elements so this 2 will be converted to 10 and these two twos will be converted to 10 so we can obtain three tens from this sub array and this one is there which is present already so we have four tens great so the answer is four so let's see the constraints so the array length is maximum 10 is to 5 and for k and the value of integers which is present in the array we can have it up to 50 so let's try to make some observations so this is a test case and here the value of k is a 3 okay so what we can possibly do so one naive approach would be to generate uh, all the sub arrays okay so let's generate all the sub arrays and from all these sub arrays we will select an element which is having the maximum frequency and that would be our answer so let's say i select this complete sub array okay this complete sub array here i would get four fours so i can add minus one to this complete sub array this force will be converted to three okay so we will have a gain of plus four but wait here we have a three as well okay so this 3 will be converted to 2 after adding minus 1 to this complete sub array right so this 2 will be lost okay and initially we were having two threes okay we were having this two threes but now as we selected this sub array and we applied an operation where we subtracted one from all these elements we lost a 3 here but you can see that we have a gain of 4 so minus 1 and we have a gain of 4 so the contribution of this complete array like the complete sub array would be 4 minus 1 which would be 3 okay and we have a 3 from this part so the frequency would be 3 plus 1 which is 4 so the maximum frequency of k like which is 3 is 4 great but we cannot generate all the sub arrays right we cannot generate it why because generating all the sub arrays will require n square why n square because for this element we will iterate to this 4 to this 4 to this 3 to this 4 
and for all the elements we will do similarly like add it here 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 okay so the time complexity would be n square and here the array length is 10 raised to 5 so which means we will have 10 raised to 10 which will not pass why because we can perform 10 raised to 8 to I would say 10 raised to 9 for read code at least so these are the operations that we can perform in one second so how we can solve this so let's try to make some observations here what we can do okay we'll just select this sub array and check how this is contributing so this 4 is contributing us this 4 is contributing us this 3 is not, not contributing us this 4 is contributing us this 4 is contributing us so if we select 4 as the element and if we see its contribution then in this particular sub array 3 4 elements are contributing and one element is reducing our contribution so what if we select this complete sub array now so here let's say again we are checking the contribution of 4 so here i have plus 1 plus 1 here 1 3 will be lost plus 1 plus 1 so we can see that this 2 is not contributing in any way it is neither reducing the contribution or neither in increasing the contribution because we do not care about this 3 or uh, this 2 okay so one observation is clear that if we select as any of the sub array we are concerned about two things we are concerned about two things one is the value of k which is 3 and other is i would say a v which is the value which we are trying to see like what is the contribution of this particular v here it was 4 so what we can do let's try to generate the complete contribution for every element let's say we have 2 then we have 4 then we have 3 and again we have 6 okay so these are the elements let's see their contribution uh, let's consider this complete sub array so this 2 will have a contribution here this will not have a contribution not have a contribution this will have a negative contribution okay so this will have zero contribution zero contribution zero contribution then again we have a negative contribution here so we can see that only this part is contributing right we are not interested in going to this part because this will anyways reduce our contribution so this part is the one which is contributing to our answer so the value of k here would be 3 like the maximum frequency would be 3 because we will just select this sub array and then we will convert this 2 to 3 and we already have this two threes here so the complete contribution would be three so for four it will have zero contribution then we have plus one contribution plus one contribution then this three will have minus one then again plus one plus one zero minus one so here this part will contribute to this part will contribute to and if we consider this complete part then 2 plus 2 minus 1 this part will contribute 3 okay we will not extend here because going here will reduce our contribution so selecting this part will contribute 3 and 1 from here so the answer would be 4 okay so the contribution of 4 would be 4 so the maximum frequency would be 4 if we select a value 4 now let's select 3 if we select 3 then for every other element we will just have no contribution and for this 3 we will just have plus 1 then again here is 0 0 0 and plus 1 okay now the maximum contribution would be 2 plus 1 and plus 1 as there are no negative values here so the contribution is 2 so the maximum contribution here is 2 and for this 6 the maximum contribution here would be plus one for this value then for rest of the values it is zero 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 this three will not contribute it will instead reduce the contribution here this will have zero zero 
then we have minus 3 okay sorry not minus 3 minus 1 okay so here we can select this sub part sub this sub array and we will not extend to the right or left because this will reduce the contribution so the overall contribution here would be 3 great so one thing is clear what we are doing is we are checking what is the maximum possible sum we can obtain from any of the sub array right maximum possible sum in any of the sub arrays this is the thing we tried in all of these values so we can just produce this behavior because we are having elements up to 50 right so if we check for all of this element if we check for all of the element so the contribution would be something around 50 into n which is the array length so this is the maximum time complexity how we will obtain the maximum sum in any of the sub array so we have an algorithm which is Cadence algorithm this is the algorithm so you can read about this algorithm but what it does is it basically provides us what is the maximum sub array sum in your complete array which contains positive and negative elements so we can utilize this so if we try to produce this behavior in code what you will do so let's go through the code here so in the code what I'm doing is I'm just counting the initial value of k like what is the initial frequency of k in the complete array so I'll just iterate through the array and count the frequency of k at the same time what I'm doing is I'm keeping a track of what are the elements which are present in my array I'm maintaining a set here to keep the track of the elements which are present in the array so then what I'll do is I'll just iterate through all the elements while iterating what I'll do is I'll check the contribution of every element okay so this will maintain our current answer like the current contribution of this element and what we will do is we'll just iterate through the array and whenever we find k so we'll just reduce our contribution it is the same thing that we uh, that we done here like we are reducing the contribution okay so if we find this value for which we are checking the contribution we'll just increase our contribution okay and then at any particular point if you feel that the contribution is not helping us in any way we'll just discard it and we will just say that the current contribution is zero let me explain you here okay so let's say we have a contribution like this like minus one minus one then we have zero plus one here and if we are at this point then we have minus two till this point but we don't want this contribution because this will just reduce our contribution which we will have in future okay so we will just discard it and try to make another contribution a fresh contribution so this is the same thing that I am doing here and at last I am just keeping uh, I am just calculating the complete contribution which would be the current which is the contribution uh, which is obtained at this point plus the initial uh, value of this k so this will give me the answer so I'll just run this code and it will just accept okay so thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel for more such videos